Have you ever heard of seven tapping? Back a few months ago, a rumour spread around the PvP community, a way to negate knockback even better than jump resetting, 7 tapping. By pressing the A and D key at the same time, it was said to have negated even more knockback than otherwise. But what if I had told you, this was all a lie? Because it was. With the person who popularized 7 tapping outed as a cheater, the already questionable legitimacy of 7 tapping became more and more out of the question. What were the true intentions of the people who popularized this method? Why did so many people believe this in the first place? And who is truly responsible for all of this? I'll be covering all of this inside of this video. Interested? Watch to find out. Let me first tell you the start of how this rumour affected the PvP community. Think back to May or June of 2023, everyone was talking about jump resetting. Corruption was a new big PvP YouTuber everyone was talking about, but most notably, literally everyone was trying to take as little KB possible. With the popularization of jump resetting came a new wave of PvPers wanting to one-off each other, and the way to do that at the time was to take as little KB as possible. So when a video came out on 7 tapping on Blight's channel, it took off. Blight, who was a respected content creator and PvPer, described 7 tapping as an add on job reset and showed his audience how to perform on, stating you hold down the A and D key, and if you do it correctly, you'll realize you've taken less vertical and horizontal KB. His audience and friends, such as Skeller Plays, which each buy into this, and as more PvPers endorse this video, 7 tapping became more and more known, starting the popularization of 7 tapping. A bit after Blight's video, a few other YouTubers caught the attention of 7 tapping and made videos of their own on it passing more and more impression, and people were eager to test it out, soon as they wanted to take the least KB possible. However, in specific, the Lord's tutorial would include a subsection just about 7 tapping. This video would go on to gain 40,000 views. To counter strafe, all you need to do is switch directions every time you get hit. Basically, all time. By now, you're probably asking yourself, if it were fake, why were so many people believing in it? This comes down to the placebo effect, and to explain this, let me tell you a quick story. During World War II, a medic called Henry ran out of painkillers, so he replaced the painkillers with a saline solution which would have no effect at all. However, he decided to tell the soldiers that it were painkiller, and to his surprise, it had the same effect. This is known as the placebo effect, where your brain is tricked into believing something which isn't true because your brain was told that it was that thing. Now this concept applies to 7 tapping. Although 7 tapping had no effect on your KB, they ended up believing it worked, even though it did nothing whatsoever, leading to a divide in the community, with one side believing its effects and another calling upon the placebo effect. While one side of the community described 7 tapping as a placebo, the other side believed in 7 tapping. Along them was somebody called Skylar Plays. Remember this name for now. In the short month which 7 tapping had been popularized, Skylar Plays had improved his skill tenfold, beating many players he wasn't able to just one month before. In just one month, Skylar had become a top PvPer. Why was this? Well, according to him, he used 7 tapping to beat out other players in the short amount of time which he did. Skeller would eventually be one of the main people promoting 7 tapping, and because of the shown effects, many people would believe it, creating an even bigger divide by the people who believed in it. 
and the people who didn't. And with an already ongoing race between Seven Tapping and the people trying to disprove it, the truth would soon come out. At the time, many players took it upon themselves to prove Seven Tapping's legitimacy, mostly PvPers and scrimmers, just like how I'm taking it upon myself to reach 10,000 subscribers by 2024. If you've watched this far already, you're enjoying this video, so take it upon yourself to press that subscribe button. So help me out so much and it only takes 2 seconds. Test the effectiveness of 7 tapping. PvPers would use a clip of them jump resetting normally and with 7 tapping added on to see whether there would be a decrease in knockback. However, there needed to be a way to bypass the placebo effect. With enough testing, and by correctly measuring the results, Rather than believing your own brain, you can bypass the placebo effect. And by watching back all the clips and using replay mode, they were able to accomplish that and found that 7 tapping was just a placebo after all. If 7 tapping was just a placebo, why did it affect Skeller? Well after 7 tapping was disproven, people started to look into Skeller's claims about 7 tapping. Why was he the only person who affected? Why did he suddenly become better at PvP all at once? A team was set out to find out whether Skeller was truly using 7 tapping or whether there was something more sinister behind it. By performing something known as an SS, somebody can look into somebody's PC to find hacks in their game. TrueFetch and the Bedrock PvP community Discord got Skeller into a VC to finally see whether he was truthful or not. Oh, what the fuck? Did you? Damn, blue screen is so slow. So slow. Yo! Yo! I'm screen sharing you, bro. You're fucking doing whatever you want. Let's go play show after, bro. <laughs> so he cheats. He disappeared. He cheats. How is that cheating? What? You had a cheat engine on your boat? Oh, you stupid bro. Yeah, it literally says. Oh, this guy's. I, I'm feeling this guy. Well, obviously, this guy's obviously 100. Yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah, it's cheating.